How's it going, everyone? My name is Flip Ribbon, and welcome back to Pathologic 2. Last episode, we got the key to our factory, and uh, went to Dad's funeral, and burned him, you know? Just, just burned him, denied our fate, denied our inheritance, but we still got our amazing, just beautiful inventory upgrade, which we desperately needed. And now, I guess we're just gonna go talk to the kids on the list. I don't especially know what's actually to gain from that. To be entirely fair, uh, I think I do get something from this one, though. The one where I barter with a bunch of people. So I think I'm going to try to do that one, since I also have a lot of bartering things on me. I don't know. I don't know, though. I should probably go talk to Grace just in case the, um, the list quest is more important than I think it is. But we are doing pretty okay on food, and... Decent on water, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Water's pretty easy to come by uh, right now. But, in, a, in any case, to Grace. <laughs> oh, in any case, bones. Uh, what bones? I don't believe stock truly takes me for a patricide. He can't be that stupid. Perfect. Amazing. Yeah, and we'll go talk to Ruben, Vio. It hardly matters. It hardly matters who the note is from, the key. I, I don't know what's to gain, again, from pursuing that line of questioning and here I just get mute cursed so that's probably not worth it either uh fuck what is worth doing in the pathologic 2 video game maybe doing absolutely nothing is the key you know you do nothing and everything just works out magically hey grace just just don't look it's fine what have you got in your pockets tools forget it here's what I want to know what business did you have with my father old Burak. well we actually went to his place often he used to teach us things. Why do you ask? So you used to go to his place all together? All of you? Everyone on this list here? Sometimes we'd all go together. Sometimes in twos or threes. Sometimes alone. A lot of things happen. Why are you asking? It's not like we bothered him. He invited us. What did he want from you? Maybe one of you knows how he died then? Maybe you? So you were his friends? Did he have enemies? What did he want from you? You know what? Ask Capella. She's the oldest of us all, and the best explainer. She's a good person, too. Capella? Who's that? Fat Vlad's daughter. She's not like him at all. She even lives in a separate wing of the house. Is that a good thing or a bad thing that they're different? Mm. Good. <laughs> I like how the game answers that question for you. You can just choose to, to take the answer. She's like a big sister to us all. She put together a union. A y union? What union? Don't worry about it. Just a union. Of people under 15. Anyway, ask her. She might be mad at me if I say too much. Okay. Good. Tight lips are a good skill to have. Okay. That I good. Um, will my dad still talk to me if I go over to his burned body? Because he used to talk to me when I went over to his grave, but... I think maybe he'll just scream at me. Hey, Dad. Uh, you feeling good? Huh? You, you got anything to say? No? Cool. That's that's really disappointing. All right. So now we just have to go to Capella. Yeah. So we can go to Ruben. Then we can go to Capella. And then we can go to the town hall. Is it weird that I'm not finding any good reason to do all of these things, though? I mean, I don't know. I mean, to see Capella certainly because of the list, but who gives a goddamn ass about stock. Maybe it's because I'm just role-playing being like a ripper, an uncaring psycho a bit too effectively. Maybe I should, uh, you know, calm down a bit, be a bit more analytical. I don't know. I have to trade with a bunch of people. Either way. Swabbery, swabbery, my favorite. I'll trade with you, gents. Aw, oh, damn it, but that's so many bottles. I won't trade with you, I lied. Great. With this item, I give you some of my luck, I guess? People say I have that in spades. Don't know if I believe it. Now, what should you give me? Patience. Courage. Compassion. Care. Wit. That's what we all need the most right now. I give you courage. The courage to break free from the tower and stop being such a loser to your parents. Uh, what did that say I traded with? Like a kid, right? I've yet to seriously bother with any men, women, or kids. Okay, let's trade with this douchebag. Even though I really don't actually need any of this stuff. I don't need, I don't need that at all, but I'll take it, damn it. Uh, what you giving me with this thing? <laughs> what are you giving me? Oh, I don't know. Well, neither do I. All right, I'll give you a, 
Well, what would you like? Some rest to leave this place. Some rest. Lower my exhaustion, please. That'd be amazing. <laughs> I don't think he did it. Get to seriously barter with any men or women. All right, let's go to... Let's go to Reuben and see if we can't find some men and women. I need to talk to Khan at the tower. The town is all buzz now. Makes me kind of reluctant to leave. What tower? You blind big fella? Yeah, what tower was kind of a terrible name. Uh, thing. Uh, Khan. I know the name. He's in the tower. Yes, indeed he is. Off I go. Khan is in the polyhedron. That he is. No way in fuck I'm getting the polyhedron, though. But, I don't know. I don't know at all. Have I gone inside the polyhedron in this game? Can you do that? I don't think you can. I don't think you can at all. That's why I was so hyped to play Pathologic HD. Because you actually could go in it. I really can't sell it enough how hyped I am for Daniel's route. Like, getting to see fancy graphics polyhedron, bro. And when this game is finished, don't even get me started. I'm, I'm assuming, maybe, like, either they'll do it with the changeling or... Shut up, Erman. Uh, maybe I'll talk to you in a second. But, um, either they're gonna do, like, the big reveal twist that's at the end of Pathologic HD if you heal everyone exclusively for the changeling, or somehow they're gonna, like, tie them all into each other. And if you heal everyone, you get to meet the powers that be. It'd be interesting. It'd be very interesting. Okay, do we need to make any tinctures right now? No. There shouldn't be any plague anywhere about, so we just need to stash up on... on, uh, herbs. <laughs> Words sometimes fail me, and I am so apologetic. What time is it? Noon. We don't need our dead items right now, but we do need to go to Vlad's. When we go talk to Capello, we'll go to Vlad's and pick up the rest of our shit that's in the in the closet. And that should work out just fine. And what do I need for an inventory upgrade? I need thread, needle, and a sheet. That's not too bad. I just need a sheet and some thread. Okay. The one needle. I hate that everything. <laughs> I hate that time passes in those menus. It makes me really, really anxious. What do I need to repair my clothes like my okay i need thimbles safety pins and more thread i'm gonna need a shit ton of thread and uh, let's put the safety pin in here as well god i hate this i hate this so much okay okay i think we're ready to go off we go uh sticky 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 where are you oh there you are <laughs> all right Erman, what do you need oh you're not Erman. sorry <laughs> sorry about your loss still think bright thoughts earth takes her due but gives in kind have you now remembered me do you remember our connection? Huh. It's you, Basagan. Your dress is even more torn than before. You dance with all your energy, huh? Yeah, I had to check for, uh, your nipples, not gonna lie. Huh. <laughs> it's you, Basagan. I'm all yours, Kirchen. What is your name? So you don't remember at all. No, I honestly don't. This is what you told me once. I often dream of salt. Either its taste or color or whole salt pits are holding some of my pinched fingers. Do you believe me now? It can't be! I never told anyone about it. Even my friends. Even Lara doesn't know. Huh? Strange. Forget Lara. That's not why I'm following you. Why then? Why then? But you're not heartless. However cruel. I won't leave you. I hold no grudge against you. Just mind this. When you finally remember, when you realize why you need me, do not hold a grudge either. Promise. Not the type to hold grudges. Send me away. You're bound, you and I. I am yours. Remember that at least. I couldn't even forget if I tried. Oh, what a beautiful girl. She's so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. What an extraordinary being. Okay. Off we go to Reuben. Take the blood. Take it, almighty goddess. I love you so much. Or mother. Mother Bado. Goddess. Hurry up! Thank you. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. What's your deal? See you tonight at Saba's place. It's dangerous, yes. This is Nangpa. Do zones. What? A place you must not bring outsiders. Everyone's looking for a Shabna Kadik. It's good they forgot Saba. And do you go there every night? The kin can even live there. People come and go, yes. So will I. Very nice. I never actually saw any of this. Sometimes after dark step people meet at Saba's place. Not just them either. Yeah, I don't really know what that means. Maybe maybe I just never went to Aspides when, you know, it became night. But I feel like I did. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't recall there being anything particularly interesting at, at Saba's at night, despite that being a thing they, like, explicitly say. Holy shit, Ruben. You look like a serial killer. How heavy is a head? 
Eight pounds. Why did you come here? Finally thought of some good excuses. Think I need to justify myself to you. I'm waiting for your excuse and apology, which I may not accept. I'll be damned. You shaved your head. Preparing to become a monk or a soldier. I'm waiting for your excuse and apology, which I may not accept. Best form of defense is offense. You've always done it well. Stock, are you out of your mind? Yesterday, I was told you would kill father. And you immediately believed, immediately believed it. Who told you that? Well, of course. I finally achieved my childhood dream. It's not far from the truth, Burak. In two seconds, I'm two seconds away from breaking your jaw. You knew, all this time, I'm not a murderer. You just meant it as, what? Some metaphor? I called you a friend. You betrayed him. You left when he needed you most. He cried out for your help, but you didn't care. He was in peril, and you were too busy elsewhere. He believed, truly believed, that your arrival would put an end to his troubles. As always, he was right. It's not true. Are you raving mad, Reuben? Take a breath, calm down, and explain. What peril? What do you know? No. You wouldn't tell me. Suggested we wait for you to arrive. You were in no hurry, were you? His first letter was sent in May. I only got a single letter. Two, maybe three weeks ago. There's a war, asshole. You think the trains come to this town often? Larry said I'm stupid. I've lost my marbles, but I haven't. Your father always taught us to take stock of the situation, Burak. Overall, you're unneeded here. Don't bother with your father's inheritance. He has better heirs. <laughs> like you. There was right. You are stupid. Already thinking about the inheritance, huh? Some of us still grieve. His inheritance isn't... <laughs> things! It's different. And don't you dare accuse me. As for you, Gravel, don't interfere. And who's investigating the murderer? No one. But all you care about is some inheritance. And you dared to accuse me. Tell me what you know. I know he was murdered. By somebody new, too. Somebody trusted. Someone who could easily enter his house. This is what's important, idiot. Not an inheritance. Shut up. Your father's inheritance is his work, Burak. That's his legacy. You are completely unworthy of it. His work is not yours. His knowledge is not yours. You abandoned both. He sent me away, jackass. He wanted me to study elsewhere. Go elsewhere, then. Or whatever it is you'll learn there. Here, you have no place. And if the kin tells you to let go of his burden, listen. Perhaps even that scum can be right sometimes. You're out of your depth here. Poor stock. You know, I don't even want to hit you anymore. You're hysterical, man. You're barely making sense. I'm not going anywhere. You should listen to Gravel. You're acting stupid. So dumb. So very dumb. You're like, I'm going to take my your father's inheritance, but also the kin are stupid animals I don't respect. This dude? <laughs> Reuben is an idiot. Hi, Lara. One sparrow? Don't even get me started with the sparrows. So, here we are again. I managed to calm down Stock. He was wrong about you. Or, he was not entirely right, at least. But still right, huh? What got into him? What got into him? She let him speak for himself. I already did. If you ask me, the man's losing his marbles. You already offered your father's inheritance, Cub. Refuse it. I beg you. Do not follow his path. You're too late. I've already accepted what I must do. But I explicitly refused. Why would I refuse? Because I want to? I don't know if I can properly explain this. There's no happiness down this path. Not for yourself or others. Your father's path was cruel, Cub. Explain yourself. My father? Cruel? He was a kind man, but his deeds were... Ruthless. What do you mean? All in all, this is a quiet town. Not perfect, but there's a place for everyone. We're all connected through bonds of love, of friendship, of patience. Life flows through those bonds, the town's veins, and to cut them would cause harm. Your father? Don't be mad. He dreamed of remaking it all. I'm sure he had his reasons. You're being awfully poetic about this. What exactly did he want to change? Everything. Our town felt wrong to him. He used to say that broken bones set badly will cripple a man leaving him unable to function as others do. To Isidore, our town was a vile malunion. Perhaps he thought that for a reason. Not too found, fond of our town either, after that welcome I received. Well, perhaps he thought that for a reason. He was a healer, sure. He knew life as no one else could. The kin revered him. But even that did us more harm than good. In the end... What do you mean? Five years ago, there was an outbreak in the crude sprawl. It spread like wildfire. Dozens and dozens dead. People sent for Isidore. He arrived. He 
He ordered the whole quarter to be quarantined. No one could leave. Not even a healthy one. Healthy people trapped inside. It was the right decision. It's terrible. I'd make the same call in his shoes. The townsfolk obeyed his orders without question. They barricaded the whole neighborhood. In the end, there were almost no survivors. But the town lived on. I suppose that's true. But Cub, do not take his inheritance. Isidore's inheritance is his power, his authority, his duties. If you become another Isidore, you will never rest. You will never know peace. There's no rest for the wicked. Peace only lasts until the next war. See what you mean, dear Gravel. I will think about it. This is true. This is very true. If Artemy doesn't make a decision, who does exactly? Does the town just get raised? Like, and the tower, everything just gets destroyed if Artemy doesn't make a decision here? Because, I mean, I guess that's the implication, because the other healers have essentially failed. I really don't, I really don't know why Clara fails, though. I forget what her deal is. Anymore. Lara just called me Cub, dumbass. Don't don't even get me started. Let's go save real quick. Uh, it's gonna waste a lot of time. Nah, I won't. Hey, more things! Hell yes! I didn't loot all of Ruben's house. A classic. Just an absolute American classic. What? 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 what uh, halfway... Half durability already? These things were full. What's even the point of clothing? Oh look, another mask. <laughs> Fucking very convenient. Okay, is that mask, like, full quality? Pretty good quality. I can't believe these are so fucking... So fucking degraded. That's so goddamn stupid. I... Am annoyed. I should've kept them at, at my factory. There's no way I'm going back now. Awesome. Just... They're just gonna break. Don't worry about it. Five years ago, soon after I left the town, an outbreak of a horrible disease happened here. Father... Destroyed it. Together with the carriers. And it's connected with, oh right, father's uh, inheritance in her, his duties. Correct. Sounds about right. Hey little man, what you got? An apple? Nice. That's pretty fucking rad actually, gimme. Clara, is that you? God damn it, what are you doing? Fucking weirdo. Are you sad? What do you care? I am. I haven't got time to be sad. I just wanted you to know, I sympathize. I've never had parents. Never had anyone. So I know how terribly awful it must feel right now you never had parents, then you don't. I don't need your sympathy. What do you want from me? I'm sorry I said mean things to you. That's why you think I'm evil, isn't it? But it was the truth. It's fine. I don't hold a grudge. Get lost. What do you want? I just wanted you to know that the girl from the cemetery, Grace, is talking to your father right this moment, and I think it strains her a great deal. You're lying. They're speaking, and I think it's killing her. Could you tell her to stop? Please. I think she might listen to you feel sorry for her. Do you understand? This can't be true. No, you don't. Right this moment, you say? Right this this moment. Sorry, I don't believe you. Andy's responding. Why would you believe I'm a good person, Burak? Open your eyes. I speak the truth. Remember, I am always speaking the truth. Fine, I'll take a look. But if it turns out you lied to me, <laughs> classic. I know she's not. But that's interesting, because her name was deliberately Clara. The one that was at the... That I just talked to, but I don't remember where I talked to her, because my brain is a fucking lump of jello. Uh, her name was Changeling, so clearly they're different. And I know they're different now. And I know why they're different now. But I don't know if that translates to this game. It's so strange. It's so strange, man. Like, what is Clara's true nature? Oh, her true nature is that she's a fucking doll. She is a doll that a couple of kids can't figure out how they want to play with her. Like, it's so silly. It's so goddamn silly because it's like, well, she can cure the plague. Surely, like, there's some obtuse answer, some amazing answer where Clara has, you know, and it all makes sense. It doesn't make sense. It, it makes sense, but in the worst way. Artaya's in the Tremitary, isn't she? Why is it locked? Will they open it soon? I don't know. I think they will. Wait a second. What? Taya. Taya Taishik. Taya Taishik. We call her Mother Superior. Mother Superior. Isn't that cool as heck? It's Capella's idea. It's kind of a mouthful. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Plus, it doesn't make any sense. If she's so Mother Superior, then why is, you know, Clara looking like, making her look like a mother asshole? There you are. Here I am. You need to see Capella. Soon, soon, soon. Soon why? Because. Uh, short and to the point. Off I go. Wait. 
happened is that? An incredibly reputable source has informed me that I need to see Capella. <laughs> I love that so much. An incredibly reputable source. Uh, Tai Tai Sheik's in the Termitary. What was that one? The one with the face. This guy over here. Civil townsfolk more know more than it seems. I'm unsure what to do. I should talk to them. Yeah, okay, whatever. I need to barter with some men and women. Trust to goddamn load of trade. You asshole. God damn it. Everywhere I go. Like, seriously, where am I not unwelcome? Exactly. I'm unwelcome fucking everywhere. Like, the Skinners. The Skinners, I am welcome. The maw and the spleen. And the marrow and the backbone and the flank. Okay, so really just this whole area, I can go fuck myself. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> yes. I have a feeling. Are you, uh... Are you a tree? Huh? No. Oh, okay, I thought that was combat music. No worries. Hi, kids. Burying the doll, eh? Interesting. Interesting. Hey, uncle. Dig a hole for us, will ya? Funeral attendant. Uh, what for? People don't dig holes in this town, don't you know? What for? We need it. I don't think you do. Please, uncle. We only need a shallow one. A couple of shovel swings. Nothing more. Burying a cat? Yeah. I mean, no. Not a cat. Then whom? Just the eighth. Huh? The eighth what? Well, the previous seven are already pushing the daisies. And nothing bad happened when we buried them, because the holes were shallow. I guess shallow ones are allowed. Alright, I'll dig you a hole. Fuck it. I mean, it seems like it's already dug, but screw it. Bury the doll. Why not? They do it at the beginning of Pathologic HD. Can't be that big of a deal. I mean, I know it is. This game is so strange. And they say they're burying the eighth. And the eighth is the town. But, but this clearly represents the funeral, right? That the powers that be went to to create this game. I don't. So odd. So, so odd. Huh. Did that pass, like, a lot of time? I sure hope not. That'd be great. Yeah? Yeah, we done here? We finished? Cool. See you, kids. Well, the music's gone, that's for damn sure. <laughs> no worries there. Definitely not unnerving. Oh, Capelli, it's a grown man breaking into your house. How you yes, doing? you are Artemy Barak. Greetings. Greetings to you, too. Are you Ogimsky's daughter? Yes. My name is Victoria. But friends call me Capella. Well, are we friends? Yes. Really? How'd you figure it out so fast? I can see. I haven't mastered the art, but I do see things. Sometimes. It's a gift I inherited from my dear mother. You haven't mastered the art of... sight? Are you talking about clairvoyance, or what? I mean, it's hard to explain. Sometimes I know what a person will say before they say it. Or I imagine a situation, and the next day it unfolds exactly how it was in my head. Sometimes, I even know how past events, no past events, I wasn't present for. Like which drawer father put papers into years ago. Powerful gift, if you're telling the truth. Not that powerful. Not with me. Not like my mother. She could see at will. Although, even with her, it could be fickle. I only see rarely, and I don't control it at all. I see. I see. Well, I'd like such a gift myself. Mother said it would pass. I'll either see by my own will, or lose it entirely. Or you'll start seeing ghosts and unicorns. Better to lose it then. Or you'll start seeing ghosts and unicorns. Undue sarcasm has been noted. It's not so rare a gift in this town. There were once several women who could see. Mother, Nina Kana, Katerina Sabarova. Perhaps. Outsiders arrive with such skepticism. 
they are always soon astonished. Astonish me, then. So it's common. One weirdo already told me out. Drown the town in blood. You two swap notes or what? Do you know what I see? Under your feet, the hard soil acts as though spring melt, each step forming an imprint filled with red. You leave pools of clotted blood in your wake, Artemi Burach. I thought this must be about the murders, but... No murderer. So what does it all mean? You're asking me? I have no idea. Oh, bullshit. You have some imagination. I have no idea. I still really don't. I mean, I get... I get the river of blood is the panacea blood erupting from the polyhedron wound. But everywhere I step, blood follows me. Like, I mean, I'm a, definitely a serial killer. That's, that's for certain, but... I don't know. I don't know. Weird. Very weird. And why have you come? Are you looking for my brother, perhaps? Or do you want me to ask something of my father? I need nothing. I sense sadness in your eyes. Have you been crying? People often come to you as an in-between for Big Vlad. Your brother? Why would I? Um, have you been crying? Oh. Our family is falling apart. Father and brother argue all the time, louder and crueler with each passing day. Brother's angry with me. Everything went awry after mother's death. She was holding the family together, huh? Everyone loved your mother. I was just a kid, but I remember her too. Why is your brother angry with you? Eh, everyone loved your mom. Not even gonna lie. She died when I was six. On the day of her funeral, I locked myself in with the coffin so that no one could take her away from me. That evening, Mother explained that there was no other way. The dead must be buried. That's the best for them, he said. And then I understood. You do need it. But how did your brother make you sad? Brother acts against Father's will. Your kin make up most of Father's workforce, but he... he doesn't treat them well. So Brother argues with him. But Father hates to be challenged. He says he'll disinherit my brother. Making you the heiress, right? Well, where's your brother now? I'd like to meet him. Making you the heiress, right? Wrong. Mother never wanted that, and father honors her will. Still does. Another family torn apart. Your brother, is he home? I think he's in the Broken Heart now, in the Earth District. Actually, he frequents the place ever since mother died. I see. Don't despair. Even a torn family can be sewn back together. Sometimes, grief can be the common thread. It's true. God, there's a lot to talk to you about, eh? Legimsky's heir spends his day in a pub called the Broken Heart. Great. So we'll, uh, let's not waste time talking to Big Vlad about that. And we can just go to Young Vlad and tell him we already know all about the factory. After we go see Savarov at the town hall. When am I... Uh, should I even go to the Polyhedron? I mean, I know I can't. So... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe indeed. Maybe indeed. Or Capelli talks. Touch. Safe to touch. Classic. Did something happen? You look worried. I want to ask you something. Go ahead. He wrote this note. Here, take a look. Why are these names listed together? Yours is on here too. I don't know, but I have a suspicion. Why are you frowning? Is it something bad? Are you all going to die soon? Are you his patience? It's not about money, is it? Well, no. About a year ago, your father began to seek our company. We all met together, sometimes in... Sometimes. Or in twos or threes. It happened naturally. He taught us, I suppose, but not anything special. I think it was more about passing down something. Something of great importance. I can't make heads or tails of what you're saying. You're an outsider. It's difficult to explain. We kids have our own town within the town. A separate one. And we govern it on our own. Don't give me that patronizing look. It's not some game. You... You wouldn't understand anyway. Go on. Please. I'll do my best. I grew up here. I knew all this before you learned the alphabet. A little bit. Fine. Do you want to know why your father spent time with us or not? Yes, I do. Your father was shrewd. He could see beneath crude earth, petty lies, and hard truths, Khan used to say. Khan didn't like him much, but even he got out of the polyhedron to talk to him. He believed we were the ones who would remake this town, rebuild and conduct it in the future. Remake? You mean destroying this town? They sure of men. Never knew he had that in him. Conduct the town? Do you mean govern or what? No. A town is like music. You must play, writing the composition as you go, all while minding the harmony. Are you a musical person? I am. Well, I love it at least. Fortunately, I'm not. I love it at least. That's what he was preparing us for. Changing the town. I can see it now. He taught each of us something important. Perhaps... Perhaps he gave a piece of himself to us. Yes, that must be what he did. 
Well, guess I'll keep an eye on you all. Oh, Dad. I shall not wholly vanish. No. Always the sly fox. I shall have to protect you from all evils, then. Sly man literally pulling a fucking Voldemort on seven children. Anyway, uh, what do we got here? Father believed that the children on this list are the key to the town's future. I guess I should keep an eye on them. In the future. Okay, sounds good. Alright, Sabarov time. Or oh, wait, Yulia time. Yulia's up on the balcony. Let's go talk to Yulia. That's a good idea. How much time do I have? Oh. I'm fine. Hey, Yulia. How you doing? I leave this place. <laughs> yeah? But I myself had laid the roads of this town such that I'll curve back to their origin. Yeah. <laughs> kind of a kind of a short-sighted plan, eh? Julia. Julia Lurachiva. And you are. Artemi Burak. A doctor. <laughs> Just a local ripper. How can I help you? What can you do? You have incredible eyes. Who are you? The Canes had a rather unusual notion of how they wanted the town's routes planned. They believe the routes of choice influence people's mood. Their soul state. I found the challenge intriguing. <laughs> if a bit insane. A bit. The Canes are completely off their rocker. So the town's streets are your doing. A bit. The Canes are insane. Well, they have built the polyhedron, haven't they? And there it is. I was even allowed to ascend it. Though I wasn't allowed inside. The cathedral, the crucible, the still water. All those buildings are machines that work with the same idea. What idea? When a person finds themselves in a relatively enclosed space, it influence their, influences their inner state in a certain way. It's no secret. The Canes are trying to create buildings that enhance spiritual growth. As in... Well, we're moving to the field of philosophy now. Not my area of expertise. But as far as I can tell, in their eyes, humans aren't paragon of animals, but rather larvae. They believe the human spirit is a spring to be stretched. Their favorite image. Why stretch it? To make people desire new things. <laughs> Weird things. Things beyond their limits. Such attempts do not bode well. People do that their whole lives anyway. Does that really demand making roads so confusing? Uh, such attempts do not bode well. Yulia, good to meet you. Please just trade with me, man. God, I hate you! Alright, just need to trade with a woman now. Fantastic. Thank God, all of the fucking trash cans have been empty. That is the only bottle I've gotten walking all the way from fucking there to there. It's bad news. Very, very bad news. Hello, ladies. Can I trade with any of you? God, what a shame. Sabarov sure seems ready to take up the reins of power. It's about time, if you ask me. And why is that? Because you can't trust people, that's why. The rule of the three families was about trust. In each other and in the townsfolk. The damn nobles trusted people to govern themselves. And the people, if they are unruly beasts, they don't respond to kindness. Only strength. In my experience, people respond better to kindness. Our rulers were kind and lenient. Where did it get us? Yesterday blood flowed like water, and a woman was burned to death at the bone stake lot. Trust! Ha! Leniency leads to corruption. What we need is someone who can keep the rabble in check. Well, there's no point in arguing with you lot. It's a shame I can't trade with you, God damn it! Hey, 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 it's the man, the myth, the legend. You need to get these bookcases out of here, man. They're just, they're just gonna be completely useless. You look so tiny. So small. So thin. Pathetic. Oh, it's you. Made you a prime suspect yesterday. My mistake. Sorry, I was rash. You were too convincing a suspect. But I won't hear you complain. The error, w the error wasn't irrevocable. <laughs> right. Not like you had me executed or anything. Nothing irrevocable about being branded a murderer and hunted like a dog. Did you find my father's murderer? I had no investigation. There's no organized search. I hold no official post here. In case you had any illusions on that part. My power is that of reputation. Additionally, our family enforces order in the town on the rare occasions that is broken. And those are rare. Believe me. This is a peaceful little town. I know. A village. And you're the sheriff. How can, it, how can you talk about order if no one's looking for the murderer? Spare the sarcasm, Burak. Let's get this straight. You're still a suspect. You'll be a suspect until the murderer's found and proven guilty. The only reason you're walking free is something called the presumption of innocence. Do I make myself clear? Good thing some smart people told you about that. Anything else I can help you with? My house is locked. Do you have the key? The house was locked by the committee that examined the crime scene. There may be evidence. It's in your best interest, and that of the committee. And what did the committee find? Nothing of interest. We don't have a professional, any professional investigators in town. Is it so hard to understand? 
A little bit, man, because you're like, oh, you can't go because the investigation's in progress, but you're also saying the investigation's turning up nothing because we have no investigators. So what the fuck are you saying to me? You're just wasting my time, you gray-eyed fuck. Although, one Bachelor Dankowski, who the Canes invited from the capital, expressed an interest in their summary. I found it appropriate to share their findings with him. So you may inquire with him. I will. Now the key. You may have the key. The house is your property, and I have no legal grounds to prevent your access. Exactly. Even though you don't give me the key anyway, because the Canes have it. Yeah, I have the key to my home now. Oh. Well, never mind then. And I'm going to leave that episode here. If you enjoyed, guys, please like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want in the world, and have an amazing day. I'm me, you're you, but I've got to go. So, peace out.